Hi there, welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and today I'm going to draw you Yuri Gagarin and this is so out of my comfort zone doing portraits, it's not what I normally do so uh, let's not talk about it, <laughs> let's do it. I'll just get this lined up and I'll just make sure I've got the fluorescent clicked off, there we go. Um, I'm just going to draw two lines there and two lines there and what I want to do is make a box two boxes now I've shown you this before oh this is all going to go over slightly to one side now didn't think of that now um, I'm going to want this to be probably about there actually so I'll put a line coming down there a line coming down there so what we have is two squares one on top of the other I've shown you something like this before and I'm going to split these roughly into thirds and then I'll take that third and I will stick it there like that and draw another line down like that. I can then, <laughs> so it gets very complicated, I can then take that one out. Slightly undo that a bit because that's a bit. So we've got now two boxes. One is th th they're slightly wider than taller, and then here we want to split those into kind of thirds again, and here we want to split these into thirds again, like that. And we want to line down the middle to uh, give us a line down the middle. <laughs> so I hope you can see that, kid. Um, now what we have is a point there and a point there and this is where the eyeballs will go it just happens to work out beautifully with um, Yuri Gagarin that that's how it is and I'm just going to put those there to kind of guide me and I'm going to put two nostrils kind of like that now he's a bit staring at the moment uh, now what we want is from there, we need an angle coming down inwards like that. And then from about halfway down we want to have it coming in again and coming into a kind of a nice curve like that. He's actually quite, actually a bit further down before we get to the curve. So. I think this pencil is going to make it very messy. So that will be coming down there. And then this will then come in, come down kind of like that. And then curve up there. Drawing portraits is out of my comfort zone. And that's partly why I'm doing this, is to push myself and if I'm learning something then I hope you're learning something from so I'm doing the, I'm doing the learning work for you um, I think that wants to be slightly higher up there good and then this is the top of his hair that kind of comes over and kind of down like that now I'm losing all my plans here <laughs> what am I doing um, I've lost all my plans that I'm working from. If you want to know what I'm working from, then go over to Shoe Rainer Life Channel and you can see exactly how I worked all this out um, and how quite complicated it is. Um, and you might learn quite a lot more about working out portraits and things. The, the thing about this is of course Yuri Gagarin is not here <laughs> and the chances of me meeting him are very slim and um, so I have to kind of work from photographs but I you know you can there are ways I will do it one day I will do a straight kind of you know you quite often see people on YouTube doing just you know, speed drawings of um, you know famous people and things, and they are basically copying photographs. They are just drawing photographs, 
and and I'm trying to do something other than that to, to kind of learn something I, I think when you just copy a photograph just copy a photograph uh, that's a bit high I think when you um, when you just kind of reproduce a photograph I, I, I don't quite see the point of that um, and then part of me is thinking well you know wh what am I doing here hmm I don't know <laughs> it's a tricky one and uh, this that's kind of should be coming to about there it's, it's going down too far um, the nose needs to be a bit more rounded now he has a very interesting mouth because it's it's this kind of little inbuilt built smile which is part of his charm and and he certainly had charm uh, even though he'd beaten the Americans to be the first man in space um, now you see those photographs of him when he went to uh, he went to America and they just adored him <laughs> and uh, even though he'd beaten them and the Americans don't like being beaten <laughs> well no one does really do they not really so um, and I think I think when Yuri Gagarin went into space it was quite a quite a shock for America actually a real coup for the, um, you know, politics, the Russian politics at the time. And I think they put a lot of effort into getting him into space and beating the Americans to it. Which, of course, drove the Americans wild and they st <laughs> went straight off into Apollo and... All sorts of, well, no, they didn't go straight off into Apollo, but they went off into you know really um, pushing into space after Yuri Gagarin went into space. And so, what can I tell you about this drawing? I don't know. I have drawn it several times. If you again, if you go and look on the other video, I'll put all the links up then um, you will see <laughs> how uncomfortable I am doing portraits. But I think the thing is, when you when you think, oh, I don't want, I can't do that, I can't do that, and that's exactly the time when you've got to do it. And as soon as you start telling yourself you can't do something, that's when you've got to put your finger out and get on and actually do it and uh, see what happens and um, so that's kind of what I'm doing here <laughs> uh, so his ears are coming down just just below his I think I'm drawing them too dark actually now this is this is the really difficult bit is the shape of his chin is just just and the number of times I've drawn him, this is the bit that is absolutely kind of critical. And then you kind of want another bit kind of coming up there. So we're going to shade that in there. And we're going to need a bit of shading under his mouth. Need a little bit of shading there as well. I think maybe got quite a, a deep kind of group there's a word for this thing underneath the nose and I can't think what it is maybe someone will <laughs> write it in the comments and um, we're gonna want some shading coming around there and he has this wonderful quizzical look I think if, I, if it doesn't look like Yuri Gagarin, I think it's certainly getting that kind of 1960s clean cut look, if nothing else. So if it doesn't look like Yuri Gagarin, <laughs> this is a sketch of a 1950s man, 1960s man. He's got that kind of madman kind of 
clean cut a look about him. Um, I haven't actually ever seen Mad Men, but uh, I keep meaning to. And uh, we want a tie. And then there's the uh, how are we doing? That's just coming off, so I'm hardly seeing that. Aren't there? That never mind. That will come there. And we want a tie. Um, and then the collars and lapels are really difficult. And this will come kind of around that way again. And oh, that will get across like that. Okay, now we're going to need to have this quite dark under there and then a kind of lighting shade. Um, we're going to need some shade up on the side of the face and round on the eye. You always need a little bit of kind of something just underneath the eye, um, which is actually kind of the shadow of the eyeball. Um, we're going to need a bit more shade up around there as well. And we doing for time that's quite good uh, I'm not going to color this in or anything I'm coloring off the page and never mind I could just move it up a bit so you're seeing some more. Yeah, how's that? There we are. Good. And uh, I want to And then quite a dark tie. And then we're going to get sort of shadow in underneath there. And a bit of texture, not texture, but shading to the tie. Um, and what else can I do? What else can I do? Um, let me have a think. I think the thing about eyeballs is that they are, however much you think they're white, they're not. You need a little bit of shading in them. I think we can need a bit of shade around there as well. And just underneath. I hope <laughs> this is looking alright. Like I say, this is completely out of my comfort zone. I think we need a little bit of something coming up there. And I think I'm going to just kind of smooth that out there a bit. Like that. And I'm going to call that it. There we go. <laughs> People always say, why do I laugh at the end of my videos? I think it's good. <laughs> the relief of having got there. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's the, I'm going to call that it. And uh, I'll have a look at it on the, on, the, on the screen when I edit. So if you enjoyed that, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel on YouTube. And um, practice, practice, practice. And I really mean that because you go see how many times I've drawn this. Uh, you've got to practice to get better. And uh, in the meantime, you take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.